As Federal Reserve policymakers were beginning two days of meetings to look for ways to bolster the U.S. economy, President Obama was at the White House Tuesday, giving Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke high marks for his performance. I'm not going to make news about Ben Bernanke, uh, <laughs> uh, although I think he has done a fine job uh, under very difficult circumstances. The president declined to say whether he plans to reappoint the Fed chairman in January. Mr. Obama also said federal regulators could have done more to avoid the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. The Fed probably performed better than most other regulators prior to the crisis taking place. But I think they'd be the first to acknowledge that uh, in dealing with systemic risk and anticipating systemic risk, uh, they didn't do everything that needed to be done. The Obama administration has proposed sweeping changes to the nation's financial regulations. The plan includes giving the central bank greater authority to regulate financial institutions and creating a new agency to oversee a number of consumer financial products, from mortgage loans to credit cards. The Fed was one of the regulators that had some of those consumer responsibilities. Uh, we actually think that they're better off focusing on issues of broad systemic risk and we have just one agency that's focused on the consumer protection side. The proposals have already come under fire from critics who say the plan will create more bureaucracy and make the Fed too powerful. But Mr. Obama says the reforms will allow financial markets to function more freely and reduce the risks that have brought down large investment firms. On the nation's unemployment rate, Mr. Obama declined to say how high it could go. Some experts say the rate is likely to exceed 10 percent, much higher than the president's original forecast of 8 percent. Here are some things I know for certain. Uh, in the absence of the stimulus, I think our recession would be much worse. The president said it's too early to say whether a second stimulus is needed. He said much will depend on the effectiveness of the $787 billion package approved by Congress earlier this year. Milar Sega, VOA News.